Cash Money, they know him for rappers. Obviously, you know, they do what they do. They got Lil Wayne, yeah. and uh, they had Lil Wayne. I don't think he's there anymore. Uh, Nicki Minaj and Drake, and you, R&B. Yeah. And you, you mentioned that they had a, a Tina Marie. Yeah. Why, why not go to an R&B label if there is such a thing? You know why? Uh, because when I was coming up, people used to try to change me. Right. You know, I was the young boy with the braces, with the dreads. Right. White tee, I might be sagging a little bit. Yeah. You know, I would just represent where I was from. The yeah, R&B singers don't have no braces though. And they ain't got no dreads. Nah, nah. And they and they ain't yeah. sagging their pants yeah, yeah. and they ain't doing it. You that. know, they normally they with dreads. They with they you black know, glasses. Yes, I right. wasn't on that then. Right. So you couldn't get me to throw on no black glasses, like right. like like with no black leather jacket and the black pants right. and the black. I wasn't doing it. Right. I'm like, what a fitted cap at the white tee. The bandana, the right. I was I, I went on that, so I felt like I used to tell people I'm like, man, the only people I can sign to is Cash Money, right? Because I'm like, they're not gonna try to change me. I'm gonna be able to come right in there and be myself, right? And that's really why I went, cause I'm like, I'm not finna go to somebody and they start trying to tell me what to do. Right. Like, you need to dress like this or you need to do that. Birdman gave me full creative control, right? So as soon as he did, I'm like, oh, so ain't nothing changing, right? You know, so I. I I love that about Cash Money. Is that what makes Birdman so successful? He's the CEO of uh, Cash Money, obviously, and he's built this multi, multi, multi million dollar entity. Is that is because he allows his artists to have control and he just lets them be like, okay, hey, you came to me, let me help you be the best you you can possibly be. Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing about Birdman and Cash Money and Slim is that when you in a drought or like when the wave ain't even up yet, they gonna keep going with you. Versus another level, we're gonna be like, okay, what's the album? What's the single? Okay, we're gonna put the budget on this single and this your album single. You know, da, da. we do groundwork. You know, like, we do real groundwork. Like, Stunner will get out there with you, like, okay, you trying to work on a mixtape? Okay, let's do the mixtape. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's put it over here. That ain't got nothing to do with the label. Right. This just stuff to get you hot. Right. That's the difference in being with Cash Money. Like, we're gonna put in the real work over here versus to where it's like, you're gonna go in there and start recording your first album and you're gonna put your single out. Over here is like, you ain't hot yet. Let's try to like, right. let's try to get it all the way hot. So when we come out for real, it, it, it go right. up through the, it go up through there. So you get a lot of time, and it's like being with Cash Money, you get like so many bonuses. Like you might be hanging around Bird one day and just meet so many other people, all free game. They ain't right. charge you nothing for it because you met them with, with him. Right. I met so many people with Bird, you know, and formed real relationships with them where where it was never about money, or nothing like that. So it just it's a lot of pluses that come with being with Cash Money right. for sure. But obviously there's been some, I mean, you've heard uh, he doesn't pay his artists and this and that. Obviously you haven't experienced any of that or you yeah. still wouldn't be there. Of course. I mean, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never had a problem with my money with Bird. I never had a problem with, with Cash Money, period. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I want Cash Money to do is, you know, just keep pushing the gas on the, on the radio. Right. That's it. But, um, yeah, I never had a problem, you know. And when I do hear about other people's problems, I be knowing, like, man, it's business. And right. I be like, man, business go wrong in so many other areas. You right. know what I'm saying? So I try to keep my business so on point to the point where I ain't even got to think about, like, oh, he ain't getting paid. As long as I'm getting what I need to get, right. I'm they cool. Like, I want everybody to get what they got to right. get, but it really ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting mine. Right. I hope you get yours. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.